Hello and welcome to a new vlog. This will be a uh, quick video. A friend of mine just brought me this uh, TV power supply board. Uh, his TV stopped working. The uh, standby LED uh, is on but the uh, TV just doesn't want to start. So I'm expecting to see the standby voltage present on, on this board but there might be something wrong with the other voltages. On a first glance the uh, capacitors seem okay although that's not a 100% uh, uh, proof method to to check these boards uh, the capacitor might still be bad but uh, judging from my experience um, it never happened to me to find the good looking capacitors but to, for them to be bad inside so I will not go ahead and uh, desolder the uh, capacitors uh, what I did was uh, I entered this uh, power supply model and uh, searched for it uh, on Google and see what I could find on the uh, repair forums. So um, I did find some information. Apparently there is a common issue with these boards apart from bad capacitors. There is a problem with some bad solder joints in a critical uh, spot in the uh, this whole power supply architecture and uh, with just one bad solder joint the whole power supply stops working. So I got this uh, schematic and uh, it's not uh, the exact same model but uh, the architecture is the same and we can identify some of the um, um, problems that might appear in this power supply. So the first thing I did was to measure the input path to make sure nothing is wrong with the fuse, the uh, choke filter, the uh, bridge rectifier, everything is working. I do get my voltage up to the um, uh, huge... Uh, 150 microfarad 450 volt uh, cap everything is fine up till here so uh, the internet was suggesting that there is a problem with this circuit right here this takes care of uh, actually turning on the power supply so the uh, on signal comes from the control board on this side it goes uh, through this optocoupler and uh, then there is a, a VCC voltage generated to power the uh, ICs on the board. From this winding, it goes through this transistor. Only when the on signal is applied, this transistor turns on. And then the voltage goes to the um, uh, switch mode controller ICs. It's not exactly the, the same uh, IC. I don't think I have this one on my board. But still, the architecture is the same on my board. And if I don't have a, a voltage right here on the emitter of this transistor, then there is something wrong on this uh, control path. So the next thing I want to do is uh, uh, maybe inspect the solder joints on this transistor and uh, check if I get any voltage on its collector and on its uh, emitter. Uh, I'm also going to apply a uh, turn on signal just to make sure the conditions are the same as uh, if the board were to be uh, mounted inside the TV. When doing repairs on these uh, high voltage circuits, always make sure to check the uh, caps because they could store quite a bit of energy. You see right now we have 180 volts on the bulk uh, storage capacitor and this could give you a serious shock. I usually make myself one of these uh, uh, resistors. Uh, I can't find it right now. Here it is. Uh, I usually make myself a resistor wrapped in um, shrink wrap and I use this to discharge these uh, uh, capacitors. Uh, I use something like a high value 1 mega ohm resistor, uh, maybe 2 watts if possible and uh, I discharge the capacitor before working on the board to avoid any serious electrical shock. Before doing any of these uh, measurements, we need to simulate the TV being on and since the power supply is not connected to the control board, I just bridged the uh, turn on signal to the 5 volts uh, standby because uh, it's an active uh, high signal. So right now when I apply power, this board, this power supply will attempt to start and uh, generate all the voltages. So I did some measurements on the transistor and I do get voltage on the uh, collector about uh, 26 volts but I'm not seeing anything on the emitter and that means this uh, transistor is either not uh, turning on or I have uh, that bad solder joint here. So here is a close up of that transistor and uh, I think we have ourselves a couple of bad joints at least the first one looks to have a big crack and uh, the second one 
mm, I'm not sure. Maybe that's uh, just a, a solder uh, edge, but that could be also a, a broken uh, solder joint. So I'm going to redo these uh, solder joints and uh, check again if the power supply comes to life. This is how they look after I fix them. Now let's uh, try to power on the board and see if it comes to life. Okay, so the board is uh, ready for a new test. I'm going to apply power and then we're going to test for a few voltages. So right now the board is live. I'm going to be really careful when testing these uh, voltages. Let's check the uh, 24 volt rail. Okay, and that is uh, present. Uh, let's also check uh, some of the uh, voltages on this side. I'm going to grab the uh, board by the ground tabs. And we should see a couple of voltages in here. This is a 12 volt rail. This is a 5.3 volt rail. And this one is a 12.5 volt rail, which also looks fine. So it looks like we fixed the board. It was a very simple fix this time, just a cracked solder joint. But it did help that uh, this is a known problem and people have reported this problem previously on the internet. You can find it on the forums, even on YouTube. So that uh, definitely helped because uh, I went straight to the, the problem and checked the solder joints first. Um, it might be... Uh, caused by the fact that this uh, transistor is uh, freestanding and uh, they did try to uh, glue it down with some of this uh, epoxy but uh, as you saw in uh, during the years of service that this TV has seen eventually the solder joint cracked because there is uh, quite a bit of uh, weight hanging on those uh, solder joints so that's why Dave from uh, EV blog always uh, talks about uh, transistors flapping in the breeze because well um, over the long term it doesn't do your board any good so if you have a broken TV don't just throw it away it might just be a uh, simple fix in the power supply board maybe something similar to what I've seen here and uh, you just save yourself uh, some money as usual Thank you for watching this video, if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and uh, I will see you next time.